Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel and today we are going to learn how to fix high RAM, memory, CPU, disk usage on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So let's get started. So whenever you try to use any application or play some games or run any programs in your Windows device, you will face some issues with your RAM, memory, CPU, disk usage in your Windows desktop. So the memory is high, your RAM is high and you want to fix that. So to fix that problem what we can do is clear our device so we can delete unwanted files scan our device and just run some commands so we are not going to use any external sources like install any application or use our browser what we are going to do is just use internal sources like run some commands clear our storage and just scan our device so to do that what you have to do is just type in windows plus r key so by typing in windows plus r key you will open up your run tab so this is the one way how you can open up your run tab you can also just right click on your windows icon and by right clicking on your windows icon you can find a bunch of options you just have to tap on run and by tapping on run you will open up your run tab and after opening up your run tab what you can do is you can just search for search for sysdm.cpl so just search for that option and then tap on OK. So just so just type in that option in your run tab and then tap on OK. After tapping on OK, you will open up your system properties tab. And after opening up your system properties tab, now what you can do is just head over to your advanced option. So in the top you can find advanced. You, you just have to tap on advanced. After tapping on advanced, now what you can do is just tap on this first option which says performance and inside your performance you can find settings so just tap on settings after tapping on settings now what we are going to do is if your performance options is set on let windows choose what's best for my computer so if it is set on this option what you can do is just change it to adjust for best performance so just change it to adjust for best performance and then tap on apply after tapping on apply you just have to tap on ok and after tapping on OK, now you can just close this tab. After closing that tab, now what you can do is just type in Control Shift Escape. And by typing in Control Shift Escape, you will open up your task manager. And after opening up your task manager, now what you can do is just tap on this fourth option which says Startup Apps. After tapping on your Startup Apps, now what you can do is just disable those application which take so after heading over to your startup app section now what you can do is just disable those apps which take startup impact which have high startup impact so just disable those applications which have high startup impact so my this application has high startup impact so i'll disable it so just right click on it and after right clicking on it now you just have to tap on disable and just disable it so after disabling this, now what you can do is just scroll down and then search for some other apps and then disable it. So you can find this app. So this take high startup impact, so I'll disable it. So you just have to do the same, you just have to look for this app which take high. So you also have to do same. So you just also have to do the same thing that I'm doing. You just have to disable those apps which take high startup impact. So what this does is it will close those applications which automatically start whenever you restart your device or whenever you or whenever you turn your desktop on. So by doing this you will fix your problem by reducing your CPU and RAM usage. And after completing this process now we will head over to our next step. So just close this tab. So now what we can do is just open up our files and after opening up our files just head over to your this PC option and then you have to check that you have enough storage in your device. So if any disk, so if your device has low storage like you don't even have 20 GB storage in your device and if it shows a red color in your disk what is what it means is you have low device and you will face some problems while using any applications and your memory will be high so you have to make sure that your device has enough storage 
and that can use it as cache memory and so now what you can do is just open up your file manager so after opening up your file manager now you should head over to your this pc and by tapping on this pc now what you can do is just check if you have enough internal storage so if you have less internal storage like if it shows you that your disk is in red color what it means is you have low internal storage and that might and by having low internal storage you might face some problems in your device so you have to make sure that you have enough storage in your device so by having even so by having enough storage because the higher the space you have it will use it as virtual memory and cache memory and you might not face any problem by having enough memory in your device so you have to make sure that you have enough internal storage and memory in your device and by ensuring that you might fix and by ensuring that you might not face any memory issues in your device so just close this tab and now we will head out to our next step and now you have to check if your windows is updated so if your windows is not updated and you might face some problems so you have to check if your windows device is updated so just type in windows so just type in check for update so after searching for check for update you have to check if you have any update in your device so if you have any update in your device you just have to update your device and after checking that now what you can do is search for power plant so again open up your windows search bar and then search for power plant so here you can find these two options inside your settings which says choose a power plant edit power plant so i'll tap on choose a power plant and now what you can do is just go ahead over to your and now what you can do is just head over to your change when the computer sleeps and now what you can do is just head over to your create a power plant option and by tapping on that you'll find this option which says balance power saver and high performance you can change this option to high power you can change this option to high performance so you can so your device will run in high performance so you can change that option so you can change this option if you like but you at least have to keep it in balance or in high performance so don't keep it in power saver so by keeping in power saver your device your device might underperform and you might face some problems so make sure that you keep this option in balance or high performance and by doing this now what you can do is just close this tab now what you can do is just again open up your run tab by typing in windows plus r and by typing in windows plus r you will open up your run tab and now what you can do is just search for clear mgr so just search for c l e a n m g r so by searching in for that you just have to tap on ok and by typing on ok now you have to select a drive so you can select any drive that you want so which is taking high storage or high internal storage you just have to select that drive in my case it's my c drive so i'll select my c drive and i'll tap on ok and after tapping on ok you will open up your disk cleanup for c and now what you have to do is select every single option so after selecting these options you will have your total amount of disk saved so after selecting every single option you can find total amount of disk space you gain so by deleting the following files you will gain the following disk space what you have to do is just select every single file and then tap on ok so what you have to do is just select every single file and then tap on clean up system files so now what you have to do is just type in windows plus r and open up your run tab and after opening up your run tab you just have to search for clean mgr so just search for c l e a n m g r and then tap on ok after tapping on ok now you have to select after tapping on ok now you have to select one of the drives in your device so you have to select those drives which take high internal storage so just select that drive in my case it's my c drive 
So I'll select my C drive and then tap on OK. After tapping on OK, now you have to do. After tapping on OK, now what you have to do is just select every single option over here. And after doing that, now what you can do is just tap on OK. And then delete files. So this will only clear your cache files. So by deleting this file, you will just improve your so by deleting the following files, you will just improve your RAM, memory, CPU and disk usage. After completing that, now what you have to do is just again type in Windows plus R and open up your run tab and then just type in temp and then tap on OK. After typing on OK, you will find these unwanted files in your device. What you have to do is just select every single file. So just type in Ctrl A. So by typing in Ctrl A and now what you have to do is just select every single file so just type in Ctrl A and by typing in Ctrl A you will select every single file now what you have to do is just type in Ctrl D and that will delete your files and by deleting your files now what you can do is just close this tab and after closing that tab again open up your run tab and now what you have to do is just search for percentage 10 percentage and then tap on ok and this will open up your another cache files so you can just delete this so just type in ctrl a and again ctrl d and there will be some files which you can't delete you just have to leave those files and after clearing your files now what you can do is just close this tab so now the last step now what you can do is in the bottom right side of your screen you can find this upwards arrow icon you just have to tap on it and after tapping on that here you can find a scan option so if you can't find the scan option over here what you can do is just tap on the search bar and then search for windows settings and after searching for windows settings you just have to head over to your second option which is virus and site protection and by coming over to that section now what you can do is just scroll down and here you can find quick scan so just tap on quick scan and it will take a scan of your device you can take a quick scan or you can take a big scan which means you can take a quick scan or you can take a entire device scan so to do that you just have to head over to your and now we will heading over <coughs> And now we will complete our last step. So what we have to do is just complete our device scan. So to do that what you can do is in the bottom right corner of your screen you can find this upward facing arrow. You just have to tap on it and after tapping on it you will find a scan option. You just have to tap on scan. So if you can't find that option over here what you have to do is just head over to your search bar and then search for windows settings. After searching for Windows settings, you will open up your Windows settings icon and here what you can do is just head over to your second option which says virus and threat protection. And by tapping on virus and threat protection now you just have to scroll down and here you can find this option which is quick scan. You just have to quick scan. You just have to tap on quick scan and it will start taking a quick. <coughs> You just have to tap on quick scan and it start taking a scan of your device. So it might take some time. So after completing the scan now you are all set and you might fix your problem. So that's it guys this is how to fix high RAM, memory, CPU, disk usage on Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you find this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any doubts feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.